Hey guys, Rich from Rich Mid Gaming. Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. And this is just going to be a really, really quick video just to let everybody know about some really big changes that have happened to not just Malekith, but also Domino as well. Uh, less than an hour ago, I think it was, on the forums, um, I think this was sparked originally by Dizzard asking the question when the ability says choose one skull would that not lock the count as crit to the skull you choose blah blah blah, blah. um <clears throat> so what we're talking about here well, we're talking about probability manipulation on domino and cloak of shadows on malekith now just to remind ourselves uh, let's just take a quick look at the wording on this one so as you can see here, Cloak of Shadows, after this character rolls attack, defense, or dodge dice, but before the resolve critical step, it may spend any amount of power to use this superpower. For each one power spent, choose one failure to treat as a crit for the remainder of the attack. Now this feels like it's one of those rules a little bit like Hulk in the very, very early days where people have just been playing it one way. However, it was always meant to be a different way. If you don't know what I mean by that, basically, uh, once uh, once Hulk had taken all his damage, people just used to take him off the board. Uh, however, um, whilst field dressing was around, obviously it's less important now, but whilst field dressing was around, it was a way that uh, you could bring him back should you so wish. So what has changed and what, 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 how were people using this? Well, the way that people were using this was, um, let's say they had uh, three failures. What they were doing is they were spending four, sometimes even five power. They would be rolling those three failures in, those extra crits that they get from them, um, and then any of the crits that they had as well. And then if they were to get an extra failure as part of it, then they would get an extra success because they'd already paid for it. However, things are changing. So let's jump over to the forums and run through the new ruling. So as we can see here from Thoras, it says the ruling on probability manipulation and Cloak of Shadows is changing. Previously, the superpower would be used at the specific timing steps and then the effect of it allowed you to choose a failure to be treated as a critical at all steps of the timing sequences. This meant you could overspend and choose a failure at a step in the sequence other than when the superpower was used. Uh, and that's basically just what I said. Um, this will no longer be the case. You are now required to have failures in your dice pool at the point you use the superpower in order to choose them. This means you can no longer overspend as the results can only be chosen directly after using the superpower. You will now pay to choose specific results, not dice, to be treated as critical results. Only results that exist at the point of paying may be chosen. If those results are modified, changed or rerolled later, even if they are modified to the same result, the effect allowing them to be treated as another result is lost. I.e. if a die showing a failure is re-rolled, even if that die rolls another failure, the result that the effect applied to the original failure is gone and thus the effect is gone. This change aligns the rule to the printed rule on these cards. Uh, so interesting really interesting i think what they've done there is not only put a ruling in place now which i think makes sense look i'm a big advocate of malekith i don't think he's the big bad that everyone says he is but i think it's a good ruling because that was overpowered a little bit um you know dominoes in the crossfire a little bit but even so you know i i don't think it's too much of a bad thing um and what they've also then done is they have future proofed it because right now I don't believe there's any way of you being able to re-roll your opponent's dice or, or at least there are no characters in the game right now who can count failures and re-roll those failures as well. Um, so a little bit of future proofing in there and who knows maybe a little bit of a sneaky peek as to what could potentially be coming in the future. Um, but yeah guys um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I think it's a really good little change. As I say this is just a really quick video just to make sure you guys can all see this new rule. It comes into effect immediately 
I'm actually going to play a game in an hour's time with Malekith. Um, but uh, yeah, again, we'll be using that rule for that. And you need to make sure that this is the rule that you're using moving forward. Uh, guys, if you could like the video, it really, really does help. Uh, if you want to support us on Patreon, we have our Patreon up and running. And as always, a big shout out to all of our Patreon supporters. We've got the Discord. All the details will be down in the description below. And as always, guys, it leaves me with just enough time to say stay well, keep safe. And until next time, bye for now.